Cult characteristics according to cultresearch.org. The group displays an excessively zealous and unquestioning commitment to its leader and the ideology. Whether or not the founder is dead or alive, they regard the belief system, the ideology and the practices as the truth. Questioning, doubt and dissent are discouraged or even punished. Mind-altering practices such as meditation, chanting, speaking in tongues, denunciation sessions, debilitating work routines are used in excess to suppress doubts about the group and its leaders. The leadership dictates, sometimes in great detail, how members should think, act and feel. This can include what to wear, where to live, whether to have children, how to discipline children and so forth. The group is elite. Claiming a special, exalted status for itself, its leaders, and its members. The group has a polarised view of the world, an us versus them mentality, which may cause conflict with the rest of society. The leader or leadership is not accountable to any authorities. The group implies or teaches that the ends justify the means which means you could do practically anything in the name of, the protection of, the perpetuation of, the belief. At a basic level, that kind of mentality probably isn't too harmful, but at the extreme, it can be quite dangerous. It's not just doing harm to people, or perhaps even killing them, although that's a problem which could exist in extreme cases. It can be bogus charities, lying to friends and family, lying to authorities, or whatever the case may be. The leadership induces feelings of shame and or guilt in order to influence and control members. Subservience to the leader or group requires that members cut ties with family and friends, radically alter personal goals and activities they had before joining the group. The group is preoccupied with bringing in new members. The group is preoccupied with making money. Members are expected to devote themselves their time and effort to the group and group-related activities. Members are encouraged or required to live and or socialise only with other group members. The most loyal members, the true believers, feel there can be no life outside the context of the group. They believe there is no other way of being and often fear reprisals to themselves or others if they leave or consider leaving. Absolutely absurd. 